Time now for Week in Review with Ganem Hanna and myself. Sheila's uh, off on assignment, so she will not be joining us today, but uh, she'll be back for future editions of uh, Week in Review. Now, we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started with the verse of the day. Gadam uh, has that verse, and uh, what verse did you pick for us today? Marlon, I picked from Proverbs 21.21 from the Amplified Version. It says, He who earnestly seeks righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. But let me read it from, uh, 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 from the, uh, another version. It says, Anyone who wants to be godly and loving finds life, success, and honor. Uh, they both mean to the same, same uh, 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 meaning, uh, but it kind of reemphasizes it, you know, about love, about seeking righteousness, about hanging. To me, it's about hanging in the right crowd, because you know, if you're in the wrong crowd, you're not going to get to those goals. But if we are living in righteousness and living it accordingly and in a community of friends, uh, selected friends who are of that make and that kind, uh, uh, then I think we can achieve that goal. The fact says anyone who wants to be godly and loving finds life. And to find life, we cannot be alone. To find life, we need to be around others. So I, I think this is kind of more inclusive to... Uh, how we can be and who we can be around and how we surround ourselves with uh, special people. Hmm. What do very, you think? Very interesting. I, strangely enough, I like the Amplified Version. I'm usually uh, authorized King James Version. I, yes, I know that. Um, but I like the, the uh, words earnestly seeks. Right. And that means that, uh, you know, that's our part. Uh, we, I don't consider that seeking uh, works. I think that seeking is uh, uh, following uh, the urgings of the Holy Spirit. And so righteousness also is a, a, a in part, important part of this. The other verse says, uh, anyone who wants to be. So it's, it's more, to me, it's more like an it's urge. A, you know, it's like, a choice. Yeah, well, that's, that's good, that's good. So I think, you know, they both have something to say. Um, and I'm glad you chose these four examples uh, on this edition of Week in Review. That's just one last thought on that. It says in the, in the other version, it says, who, anyone who wants to be godly and loving finds life. So that word also gets my attention. And that's life through Christ. Uh, you know, to find life because one would say, well, how would he find life? Well, it is through Christ because mm -hmm. Through Christ, all things possible. Through Christ, we live in peace. Through Christ, we can be who we want to be as we seek and make the right choice. And through Christ, we have the eternal mm -hmm. life. So I, that got my attention a little bit more. That's why I often compare versions because one version may have a word that sticks out at me, but not the other. It just kind of puts it more in perspective. So I recommend, I don't know how you folks, when you do your study, I, when something catches my attention and I'm curious, I just, instead of going to the dictionary and see what that word means, I'll just find another version from the amplified version. Mm. Well, talking about uh, studying the Bible uh, on this week's Christian Connection, uh, you have a special guest. Now, I was uh, on my assignment myself, so I missed yeah. the uh, last week's Christian Connections. Uh, so tell us about what they're going to see in our replay today. Uh, yeah, Marlon. Actually, uh, the program was hosted by Daryl Mandel and Sheila Hodgkins, along with our special guest, uh, uh, Pastor David Taylor. But the guest speaker was Pastor Miguel Mendez uh, from University Church. Uh, as dynamic as they ever come, he always has great and deep topics. This was about God's giving us second chance, which is really, really, it, hit, it, it, it hits the nail on the head. Uh, folks want to watch it because God is not a God of one time, one chance. He's a God of opportunities, God who seeks his people. He's a shepherd who always pursuing his, uh, you know, his, his flock. And uh, it's beautiful, uh, very powerful message. Uh, join us 
or tune in to watch it this evening. And for those that love uh, bluegrass music, uh, you don't want to miss uh, the special music ministry that's featured uh, on the replay of Christian Connections. Now, Tuesday is going to be the next live opportunity for you to uh, catch the program. We're going to be featuring uh, a well-known uh, doctor. His name is Dr. Kramer, and he is just the head of the what used to be known as the APC for the... Uh, homecoming uh, event that's coming up uh, in the first week of March. And so it uh, used to be for postgraduates, and uh, I'm told it's now open to everyone. So we'll be finding out what's going to be happening uh, in a week or two right here uh, on the campus of uh, Loma Linda University. Uh, don't miss it. It is 6 p.m. Pacific time Tuesday night here on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. I uh, also want to talk about uh, the LLBN live uh, Friday night worship. I am so amazed, but again, not surprised that so many people just feeling so blessed by Friday night worship. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to tune in. It is live on Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, it's the worship program led by Pastor Dan Smith. Uh, he has guest speakers from time to time. Uh, Friday live, of course, it repeats throughout the week, but... Uh, it's a great program. What a way to start the Sabbath, Marlon. Wrapping up the week, especially for those who have careers and go home and uh, start the Sabbath. It's a great way. Uh, as far as I know, it's just the first Sabbath uh, program uh, anywhere in North America. That's true. Uh, that uh, is a consistently live week to week. So, uh, Gav's right. Don't miss it. Uh, write it on your calendar and tell your friends about it. Well, we have a really interesting programming that is designed for these times that we live in. And if you had noticed, uh, well, you know, uh, you will be shortly because it's kind of, it kind of shapes up like, you know, something's going on in the world. Uh, you're yeah. talking about Jeff Harper. I am it's talking serious. about Jeff, Jeff Harper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I tell you, he puts <clears throat> Revelation in, a, in, a, in, a, in an amazing light, yeah. uh, Re Revelation of Peace. Uh, it, it's, it is so wonderful. It brings such a good news and hope of what is, what is Revelation going to bring us. But the other thing is, uh, uh, he brings back the nice and traditional and warm preaching that I'm accustomed to when I was growing up as a child. And he brings a lot of these prophecies into excellent explanation. So uh, you really do want to follow uh, Pastor Jeff Harper. Uh, I think you'd be extremely surprised and blessed by his teachings. Well, I want to know what peace has to do with Re Revelation, mm. because uh, Re Revelation is a book of uh, well, conflicts, uh, you would think. Yeah. It's the end of the world. It's uh, Jesus Christ's second coming. And uh, you're right. He tells it in a way that uh, is uh, factual and a way that you can understand. So uh, this is actually, this is a really great program because it's gone ongoing. Yeah. It's not like 26 episodes and the series is done. No, uh, it's going until hopefully until Jesus comes uh, week by week, brand new program. So um, don't miss it. Well, and that's a peaceful part of it. He, he shared with us Christ's second coming and he, he covered that area very well because that is where the good news of Revelation. Mm -hmm. It's a hope for a whole new beginning. Well, we typically tape this program uh, on uh, Friday afternoon, and uh, so uh, during that time, Ganim was out with his uh, camera uh, to give you a uh, first look uh, at the building and its progress. Ganim. Well, and I just walked in with my cell phone, nothing special or fancy, and it so happened today the building was full of those precious souls who served the ministry of LLBN, so I wanted to catch them in action and just show you a flavor of some of the pleasant faces we have here in this ministry. So if we can roll the footage and show when I came into the building, just give you a peek look from the outside, landscaping still uh, pending uh, because we can't do the landscape until we run the lines for the fire sprinkler. Uh, so we don't want to uh, do all the landscaping and mm -hmm. tear it up again. Uh, this is the prayer garden area. It's not finished yet on the outside. Concrete's done. Uh, but yeah, we just added another slab toward the back. Uh, as money comes in, we're, you know, continue to do little pieces. Uh, good thing I didn't run into the glass. I walked in in the building and here's the lobby. 
it was empty. And then I noticed Austin and Leonard in this room working. So here they are waving at us. Uh, uh, those are some amazing and precious souls here at LLBN and uh, working my way down other part of the facility as I'm heading down to the uh, uh, different uh, uh, rooms. I pulled over to my left in the data processing room where you see Jay Hughes, uh, Jessica Paley, your daughter, and Leonard come and have somehow ran ahead of me and got back in this room. Uh, so uh, uh, it's, these are the precious souls who are committed to serve you folks. And here's Robert uh, doing some uh, uh, last minute work. He was there. Uh, and of course, as you notice, I am just kind of roving around the, uh, uh, the room. And then Robert took the phone, came in and uh, recorded me later as I was reaching out to some folks through the internet. And uh, he went with the phone to the control room. There's Caleb, uh, a, a fine young man. And there was an event going on in one of our studios, uh, uh, a teaching event. So here we are. You can kind of see part of the organization coming to life with people in it and getting things done. Here's Jeffrey uh, was control, you know, d directing uh, that event. And maybe we have someone else. I think we got Daryl last, uh, a superman. Uh, here he is. Uh, doing audio today. He's a man of many, many hats. So big thank you to these wonderful souls we just showed you. That does not represent the whole uh, uh, workforce, but uh, these are the ones who happen to be there today. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're just about all out of time, so um, we just want to mention uh, that we do have a trusted department. If you need to get some information about the trust for the Great Commission broadcasts uh, complex, uh, call Jay Hughes, uh, who will help you out with that. Also, uh, we want to um, uh, thank uh, our live sponsors, or sponsors for the live portion of the broadcast today. And uh, Ganem has your name, Ganem. The Jones family from Michigan, thank you. Uh, the Palenka family mm -hmm. from California, uh, the Eustace family from Texas, and last but not least, the Brown family from Florida. Big thank you to all of you, and thank you for all those who are sponsoring the program throughout the week as well. Mm -hmm. And we want to remind you to remember us in your uh, gifts and offerings. Uh, this year is a little short here, and uh, also want to uh, wish uh, some really, really good thoughts to all those that still are dealing uh, with uh, the COVID crisis. Let's enter with one of your letters. I got one right here. Are you ready for this? Who do we have? How about Janice from Laguna? Uh, she writes, with everything that is currently happening in the world, it's so wonderful to be able to tune in to LOBN for your Christ-centered and uplifting programs. Janice, thank you so much for that uplifting comment. And uh, we're going to ask Ganem to say a special prayer for you and all of our viewers here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. Ganem. Right, Father God in heaven, uh, we thank you for Janice and uh, uh, for her great spirit uh, for this ministry. Father, we lift her up before you to bless her, to be with her, to bless her home, and bless all our viewers, Father, and our supporters who are following us on a daily basis as we continue to share the good news of your kingdom with the rest of the world. In your name we ask this. Amen. And we'll see you on Christian Connections live Tuesday night at 6 p.m. See you later. <laughs>